us. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. I'm Becky Pierce with Arkansas Master Naturalist, the Foothills Chapter. And today we're going to finish up our 23 frog and toad sounds that we started yesterday. Uh, Miss Brogdon emailed you a copy of the Frogs and Toads coloring book. And these are cards that are going to give you ideas and uh, give you uh, pictures that will help you remember what the sounds of the different frogs are. So I hope you were able to print that off. If you weren't, you may want to do that later on because that will help you remember what the frog and toad sounds are. If you uh, cannot print it off, if you'll get a piece of paper and a pencil, you can draw off these pictures that will help us remember the sounds of the frogs and toads. If you'll turn your sound up as loud as it'll go because uh, the frog and toad sounds will be a lot easier to hear with your sound turned up. If you have questions, you can type those in chat at any time and someone will look at those and we'll answer those questions at the end of our presentation. There's lots of fun facts about frogs and toads, and we're going to concentrate on the sounds of those. To help you remember the uh, sounds of the frogs and toads, we're going to give you pictures of those frogs. We're going to have the cards that are in the coloring book that you can use to help remember what those sounds are. We're going to listen to the sounds. We're going to make the sounds. We're even going to use our hands to uh, help us remember what the sounds are. We'll give you a website at the end of the program uh, that will help you be able to go at your fingertips, have at your fingertips to be able to uh, see those frogs and toads and know what sounds they make. Yesterday we learned 12 of those different frogs and toads and today we're going to learn six more that are here in the middle of the state in our area. We'll learn them three at a time and then after that, we will be talking about the five other frogs and toads that are uh, we hear in the different areas of Arkansas. When you, we're going to learn these frogs and toads in the order that they come out during the year. They start singing from late winter into early spring, into spring, and then on into summer and into fall. And all these six frogs that we'll be doing first will be found, are found here in central Arkansas. The frogs and toads sound from early morning into the night, but they mostly start late in the evening right before sunset. So if you're going outside to walk or if you are uh, outside listening to the frogs and toads, sometimes they'll stop singing because they've seen you or heard you and they don't want you to know where they are. So if you'll be still for a few minutes, or just sit down and listen for a few minutes, they'll start singing again. The, one of the things that will help you a whole lot to be able to hear these frogs and toads is if you'll take your hands and put them on your ears like this, so you cuff your ears, and whatever direction you're facing, you'll be able to hear those frogs and toads much better by that. How many of you were able to go out last night and listen to frogs and toads? I hope you were able to. Uh, and cupping your ears, whether you turn left or whether you turn right, whichever direction you're turning will help you be able to hear those uh, sounds a lot better. So while we listen to the frogs and toad sounds today, I'm going to ask you to cup your ears. What do you hear? Let's go ahead and get started. The first frog and toad that we're going to talk about today is the Eastern narrow mouth toad. This little toad is seven eighths inches up to one inch long. So that's not a very large toad, that's pretty small. And he is found and heard all over Arkansas. And he's heard in the late spring through the early fall after a heavy rain. Now, one of the things that will make this a lot easier, even though we have 23 different sounds, is that all these frogs and toads don't sing at the same time. The ones that sing early in the spring, they will stop about middle spring, and then during the middle of the spring or late spring, there will be a different group that will sing. So all you'll have to listen to or learn about is about three to five to seven frog sounds at a particular time, so that will make it easier. 
let's go to our picture that we're going to think about our eastern narrow mouth toad. So when you hear the sound of this toad, and I think you probably already can figure out what that sound's going to be by looking at that picture, uh, you're going to picture this little picture in your mind. This is a little bee. He's on the eastern part of the United States. To let you know he's eastern. He has a narrow mouth. See his little mouth that goes across there? He, that helps us remember the eastern narrow mouth toad. And his sound is Bzzz, bzzz. Make that sound with me. Bzzz, bzzz. Let's listen to him. Cup your ears. What do you hear? What sound did you hear? Bzzz, bzzz. And that's the Eastern narrow mouth toad. The next frog is a Strecker's chorus frog. This frog is one inch and gets up to one and seven eighths inches long, which is not a really large frog, but a good size. And if you look at the map, this is our first frog that does not, is not heard all over Arkansas. This frog is heard in the Arkansas River Valley along the Arkansas River. It's also heard in Northeast Arkansas in a spot and in Central Eastern Arkansas in a spot. But that's about it around where we live. So you should be able to hear this Strecker's Chorus Frog. We hear them in the early spring. The picture we're going to think about when we hear this uh, frog are strecker whistles. That is a whole bunch of strecker whistles and we call that a chorus of strecker whistles. So therefore the strecker's chorus frog. And I bet you can already figure out what this strecker chorus frog is going to say and sound like. He sounds like a whistle. Whistle with me. Let's listen to him. Cup your ears. What do you hear? Did you hear the whistle? Did you hear them talking back and forth to each other? That's the Strecker's Chorus Frog. And our third one in this group is the Herder's Spadefoot Toad. This little frog, or this little toad, is one and three quarters inches up to three and a quarter inches. And that's a pretty good sized toad. He is found, not again, all over Arkansas. He's found in the Arkansas River Valley, up in a northeastern, northwestern part, little spot up there, and in a large area down the southwest coastal plain in southwest Arkansas. And you hear him after a spring, in the spring after a heavy rain. The picture we're going to have in our mind of this herder's spadefoot toad is this person that has spade feet and a spade is a shovel and that person that herder is hurting that poor toad and the poor toad is going ow ow so if you think if you hear that ow sound picture in your mind that poor little toad being squashed by the spade foot let's listen to it. cup your ears what do you hear
Did you hear him? Ow. Ow. And like we said yesterday, there's very seldom a time that you're only going to hear one frog. That's one of the reasons you cup your ears so you can hear all the sounds really well. Did you hear another frog sound in that? We talked about that one yesterday. The one that goes brrr, brrr. Do you remember what that one was? The comb, the Cajun combing his long, beautiful hair. That was the Cajun chorus frog that we heard also. Now let's review these. We think of a, of a bee on the eastern coast with his little narrow mouth, and we hear bzzz, bzzz. That reminds us of the eastern narrow mouth toad. Our next picture are our strecker whistles, and the sound we would hear would be That reminds us of the Strecker's Chorus Frog. Very good. And the next one. Oh my, he's being squished and he's going ow, ow. What does that remind us of with those spade feet? He's being hurt, a herder's spade foot toe. Now let's do our pop quiz. Let's listen to the first one. Cup your ears. What did you hear? What sound did you hear? What frog makes that sound? The herder's spade foot toad. Those are his spade feet hurting that toad, poor little thing. Let's listen to the next one. Cup your ears, what do you hear? What sound did you hear? picture do we think about when we hear that whistle? The Strecker's whistles, which is the Strecker's chorus frog. And the last one, cup your ears, what do you hear? What sound did you hear? What picture do you have in your head? You see that little bee on the eastern coast with the little narrow mouth? That would be the eastern narrow mouth toad. All right, our next three frogs. This is the crawfish frog. He is two and a quarter inches, up to three and five eighths inches long. That's a pretty good sized frog there. And if you look at the map, he is found in the Arkansas River Valley over on the eastern part of Arkansas, the western part of Arkansas in a group, down in the southwest corner, and over in the southeast corner. So he's not found all over. I really like this frog. The reason I like this frog is because this frog lives where other where crawfish live. And the crawfish make these burrows, these holes in the ground, in the river or in the stream. And once the crawfish gets finished with that hole, which is his home, this crawfish frog uses it for his home. And so he goes down and he burrows down into the burrow of the crawfish. He, you hear him from spring after a heavy rain. The picture we're going to think about is a crawfish. And this crawfish is in his burrow and he is asleep. And when he goes to sleep, he snores. A little bit different snore than we had yesterday. And he goes, wah, wah. Say that with me. 
That's a crawfish frog. Let's listen to him. Cup your ears. What do you hear? What sound did you hear? That's a crawfish frog. And you also heard a lot of other fr frogs too. We heard spring peepers, we heard Cajun chorus frogs, and we're all singing at the same time. Our next one is the bird voice tree frog. The bird voice tree frog is one and one eighth inches up to two and one eighth inches long. Nice size little tree frog. And if you look on the map, he's not found all over Arkansas and maybe not even in the part of central Arkansas that we're in, but he is found back down in the uh, Arkansas River Valley area and down southwest and south central Arkansas. A little spot over on southeastern Arkansas, he's been heard there too. We hear him in the late spring through the summer. The picture we use on this one, this is one of the easiest frogs to remember because a bird voiced tree frog sounds like a bird, a bluebird here. And the blue the bird sounds like tweet, 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 tweet. That makes it easy to remember about a bird voiced tree frog. Let's listen to him. Cup your ears, what do you hear? The bird voice tree frog. Hold on just a second. There we go. Our last frog in this group that we found in find in and around central Arkansas is the western narrow mouth. He's seven eighths inches long, up to one and five eighths inches long. That's how big he gets. And if you look at the map, he is found a lot in Western Arkansas. He's found along the Arkansas River in Western Arkansas, up in Northwestern Arkansas a little bit, a little spot in Central Western Arkansas and in Southwestern Arkansas. You hear him in the late spring through the summer after a heavy rain. Now, before we, let's go back. Before we talk about the picture here, can we go back? You think, well, we had an eastern narrow mouth toad. Now we have a western narrow mouth toad. In a minute, you're going to find out they sound a lot alike. And you think, well, how am I going to know which one it is? Well, if you are in the eastern part of Arkansas, then it's going to be an eastern narrow mouth toad. And if you were over on the western side of Arkansas, then it'll be a western narrow mouth toad. And that's how you'll be able to tell the difference. You also can use the uh, website that we'll give you so that you can compare. The picture we're going to think about is just like the eastern narrow mouth, except now it's on the west coast. And this little uh, narrow mouth bee actually has his mouth turned up because the western narrow mouth toads buzzing sound is higher, is a higher pitch than the eastern narrow mouth. So he goes, and that's what a western narrow mouth toad sounds like. Let's listen to him. 
Cup your ears. What do you hear? sound did you hear? Buh, buh. And that's the western narrowmouth toad. Now let's review. There's our crawfish and he's snoring. Remember what he says? Wah, wah. And that's an easy one to remember. That's the crawfish frog. That's what he sounds like. Now we have the little bird, and he goes, tweet, 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 tweet. Again, an easy one to remember. The bird voiced tree frog. Bird voiced frog. And the last one is our western bee, and he goes with his little turned up mouth. That is the Western Narrowmouth Frog. Now let's try, see if you remember these. Cup your ears. What do you hear? What sound did you hear? Wah, wah. What frog makes that sound? The crawfish frog. He's snoring. Let's listen to the next one. Cup your ears. What do you hear? sound did you hear that Bzz, bzz. that's the western narrow mouth frog very good and let's listen to the last one cup your ears what do you hear <laughs> sound did you hear? Tweet, 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 What? Frog makes that sound. And William was right. It's the bird voice frog. Good job. And those are all the frogs that we hear of here in central Arkansas. Now we're going to talk about some of the frogs that we have in other parts of Arkansas. The first one is a wood frog. This frog is one and three eighths inches up to three and a quarter inches long. Nice size frog, but you're going to have to be up in northwest Arkansas and north central Arkansas to be able to hear this frog. And you hear this frog in late winter and early spring. So up in that area, he's one of the first frogs you're going to hear. I like our picture that we use with this. The, it's ducks, and they are wooden ducks. You see their brown color. And you know what a duck says? He says quack. But these frogs go back and forth. Quack, 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 Like they're fighting each other. They're arguing with each other. Let's listen to him. Cup your ears. What do you hear?
seemed to be talking at the same time. And did you see he winked at you? That's a wood frog. The next one is a squirrel tree frog. He's seven eighths inches up to a one and five eighths inches. Not a very large frog. I like the way he looks though, but you're gonna have to be down in South Arkansas or Eastern Arkansas to be able to hear this particular frog. You hear him in the late spring through the summer. The squirrel tree frog, we have a squirrel, but look at his mouth. He has a duck mouth. So you know what a duck says, quack, quack. And that's what a squirrel tree frog says. Let's listen to him. Cup your ears, what do you hear? sound did you hear? Quack, 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 quack. But you never thought you'd hear a frog that sounded like a duck. Well, this squirrel tree frog, you picture in your mind that squirrel with the duck bill, that's what a squirrel tree frog sounds like. Our next one is an eastern spadefoot toad. This eastern spadefoot toad is one and three quarter inches up to two and seven eighths inches long. And in Arkansas, you're going to find him on the eastern part of Arkansas, along the Mississippi River, in a little bitty spot up in northeast Arkansas also you hear him. You're going to hear the eastern spadefoot toad after a heavy rain in the spring. The picture we're going to think about is this big, tough-looking frog. See his tattoos on him with the eastern spade? And the reason we're thinking about this and picturing this in our head is because the eastern spadefoot toad sounds like a big, tough frog. Burr, 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 burr. That's what an eastern spadefoot toad sounds like. Let's listen to it. Cup your ears. What do you hear? <laughs> sound did you hear? Burr, 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 burr. That's the eastern spadefoot toad. Now you ask me, or you think about, well, we had a western spade, spadefoot toad. How am I going to tell the difference? Well, if you're in the eastern part of Arkansas, remember that was over on the Mississippi River? It's going to be an eastern spadefoot toad. And if you're over on the western side of Arkansas, you're probably going to be hearing the western narrowmouth toad. That's how you'll be able to tell which one it is. Our next to the last frog is the Illinois chorus frog. The Illinois chorus frog is about one inch up to one and seven eighths inches. And if you look at the map, the only place you're going to find him is in way up at the top eastern corner of Arkansas, right next to Illinois, the state. And you would hear him in the early spring. The picture we're going to look at or think about is this is a frog in the this, in this, uh, shape of the state Illinois. He's gray because that's what color he is. And look what he's doing. He's whistling. We had another frog a few minutes ago that whistled. Do you remember which one that was? Remember the Strecker's chorus, the Strecker whistles? Well, this one sounds very much like it. He goes, In fact, you might not even be able to tell the difference, but the only way you would is if you were in the top, teeny top corner of Arkansas, it could be the Illinois chorus frog. If you were anywhere else in the state, it's going to be the Strecker's chorus frog because the Strecker's chorus frog is found along the Arkansas River and in the West, and that Illinois chorus frog is only found in that top eastern corner. Let's listen to it. 
Cup your ears. What do you hear? What sound did you hear? They sound very much alike, but they do look different. But remember, we normally have to hear them rather than see them, mainly because they're at the evening and it's real hard to see in the dark. Our last frog is the plain spadefoot frog. He's two inches, up to two and a half inches long. And if you look at the map, he's only found three small places in Arkansas, right along the Arkansas River Valley. And you would hear him in the spring or in the summer. The picture we're going to picture in our minds when we hear this frog is this little old man, little old frog. He has a plane on his hat, planes, and he has spade feet, his shovel feet. And he has three little dots on his chest that shows us and reminds us that he's only found three places in Arkansas. And his sound that he makes, he's like a little old toad. Make that with me. That's a plain spadefoot frog. Let's listen to him. Cup your ears. What do you hear? Doesn't he sound just like a little old frog? And that's the plain, plain spadefoot frog. Now let's, I'll give you the uh, internet site that you can go to to remember and be able to compare your frog sounds. If you'll type in and Google Arkansas toads and frogs, you have to put in toads first, Arkansas toads and frogs. And you'll come up with this page. You could click those pictures up there. And if you did, you would find a lot of information about one frog or toad. But we want you to go over and click where it says frog calls of the 23 species of Arkansas frogs and toads. Click there. And when you do, you'll see here on the left this picture that will come up. And then we want you to scroll down. And that will get bring up all the pictures of all 23 uh, different frogs and toads of Arkansas. If you click on the picture, you will can enlarge it and see the frog a lot better. If you click on the words, you'll be able to hear the different frog calls. Now, last week we had a gentleman that did a frog presentation or a reptile presentation, and he said there were 29 different frogs. I looked those up, and those other six frogs Number one, they've been found possibly since my information that I received. Also, they're not found very often, and they haven't heard, been heard very often, and that's why we did not talk about those other six frogs. Do you have any questions today about frog sounds of Arkansas? Thank you so very much for talking with us and uh, listening to our uh, program. I hope you go out and are able to listen and hear and tell which frogs that you are hearing. And thank you so much for joining us.